1979, Timberline on Mount Hood became the only area in the United States to offer summertime skiing and, oh yeah, snowboarding. John Calkins and John Ingersoll Here's Johnny. both saw the need for a snowboard camp. Ingersoll had worked at many camps and was an awesome camp chef, and Calkins was heavily involved in the snowboard industry. Together they scraped $4,000 in 1989 and in 1990 formed High Cascade Snowboard Camp. Over the course of 25 years, High Cascade Snowboard Camp has become the best snowboard camp and has affected thousands of campers through their mission of life improvement through snowboarding and skateboarding. Some campers have even become professional snowboarders, including Sage Kotzenberg, Pat Moore, Brian Fox, Daryl Mathis, Tora Bright, Kazukokubo, Scott Stevens, Spencer Schubert, and Blake Paul, Zach Marbert, Zach Hale, Max Gaswarberton, and probably many, many more. But here's the question everyone asks. How is it possible for a snowboard camp to happen during summertime, let alone for the past 25 years and onward? Let me break this down for you. You see, Mount Hood isn't just a mountain, nor is it just a volcano. Don't worry, it hasn't erupted since 1872. Timberline is situated on the south side of Mount Hood, which at its base is the Palmer Glacier. Glaciers are made up of a persistent body of ice, keeping the snow cold that gets produced on the mountain. Since the camp started in 1990, Timberline at Mount Hood has never ran out of snow. What makes High Cascade Snowboard Camp different from all the other snowboard camps riding Mount Hood? Most camps are 30 minutes away. Our camp is 13 minutes away from Timberline. This means less time spent in a van and more time having fun. based on the relevant work experience, qualifications, maturity level, reliability, enthusiasm, and overall ability to provide a positive and supportive environment for our campers. Applicants pass pre-employment drug screening and agree to random testing throughout the season. Background checks and motor vehicle record checks are also performed on staff. We are very proud of the fact that over 80% of our staff return each year. All High Cascade camper grounds are alcohol, drug, and tobacco free. There's a lot of bright minds working at camp to ensure High Cascade remains the funnest place on earth. There are of course the counselors, K unit, the diggers, park builders, demo shop assistants, camp store, year round staff, the office, the AV department, the health department, and of course the coaches. <laughs> this is Dave. Hold on. He's the head coach at High Cascade. Outside of camp, he's the U.S. snowboarding rookie slope style team coach. I killed an elk on my first try hunting. It's a random fact about me. My personal coaching philosophy is really just baby steps, taking it one step at a time, learning all the basics, getting all the fundamentals down, and then adding to each of those just a little bit at a time. Front 180, front three, front five, having all of those dialed in before you try the next. Here at camp, we have groups of anywhere between four and five up to seven. We also offer private coaching. The groups are formed basically from a lot of input from each camper. They fill out a questionnaire when they sign up for camp and we take into account their age, their ability, how much they've snowboarded, um, what they're interested in learning. It's up to the coach one-on-one -on -one with each camper to develop what they want to learn. You want to do a board slide, you want to do an indie grab, because we don't want a kid trying to keep up with his teammates based on what they've learned already, but we want individual progress based on like a one-on-one -on -one relationship within the group of 
of campers. We offer a variety of different programs within the normal coaching. Uh, we have Soft Start, which is basically beginner to 10 days where you're learning to snowboard. If you've never seen snow before, we've got you covered. We can handle it. We've got professional instructors who teach you how to turn, put you in the flat zone where you're not afraid to go downhill. We also offer Hot Laps, which is more of a free ride, cruise all over the mountain type of program. The regular coaching groups kind of focus on mostly freestyle. Everything freestyle you've ever seen, we kind of have a part of that in our park and our coaches introduce you to them as well as take you to the next level. We have campers who are working on their first box grinds and campers doing double corks. So we have what you need. We have two private parks here at High Cascade. One of them is the Lap Park. Flowy, dude. Oh. This is Jesse Govea. He's a coach, a counselor, an up-and-coming am, and a coffee aficionado. The High Cascade Lap Park is nearly one mile long, and it's perfect for boarding with all your friends that you've met at camp or your new coaching group. Yeah, the park flows amazingly well, and you can ride it whether you've just started snowboarding or you've been snowing forever. It's fun for everybody. Lap Park offers perfect rhythm and repetition so you can get your winter legs back into action. It's got a sweet continuous flow with a bunch of banks, turns, jumps. So the Lap Park's a little different than the main park because you're riding the Palmer Lift and you can just lap it all day and you can put together different lines, find what's fun to you. Let's bump it over to our main park real quick. Our main park is pretty rad and campers shouldn't be surprised at seeing some pros riding around the park sharpening up for winter, like Mike Rav. And we are snowboarding. The main park's incredible. The High Cascade Diggers do an incredible job at what they do, put a lot of passion into the work. But we've got everything for you. We've got a mini pipe, we've got rail lines, jumps of all different sizes, uh, fun boxes, pretty much anything from the beginner to expert ranges of snowboarding. Everything's built perfectly, maintained, really couldn't ask for anything better. The rope fill is pretty much almost the entire length of the park. We actually have, there's actually two for the super pipe as well. So pretty much you do your run, hit whatever you want, rails, jumps, mini pipe, super pipe, and cruise right over, wait in line, not even a long line, just hop right on the rope fill, brings you right up top. This is Ben Ferguson, rider for Burton and half pipe killer. We're at uh, High Cascade Snowboard Camp, standing at the bottom of the beautiful super pipe right now. So at HCSE, they have uh, two half pipes. They got a mini pipe and a big pipe, so you can practice in the mini pipe and then take those skills you learned into the big pipe and just have a lot of fun in both of them. This is the only super pipe up in uh, North America in the summer. People come from all over to ride it. There's multiple teams from like there's people from China and Russia and tons of people here riding this sweet half pipe. Pat Malandowski builds and maintains the super pipe, keeps it keeps it in good shape all summer long for us to shred. Out of all the things I've ever done, I've always said like High Cascade is my home mountain, you know, and I've always felt that way. Uh, it's just my it's just always been true to uh, snowboarding, which is my biggest passion and why I do this. It's never been a, a business just to do business. It's always been like, how do we make stuff to give the campers a better experience and make, have everyone from the beginner to all the pros come in and try to find a way to like make something fun for everyone to ride. During the summer, High Cascade takes over Government Camp, Oregon, or Gubby as the locals call it. It's located one hour east of Portland. Hi everyone, I'm Miles. I'm going to show you around camp. Welcome to the Lodge. Considered by many to be the center of camp life, the Lodge has the street course in the front yard and the ramps, tramps, and faux pit in the back. Divided into several wings and floors, the Lodge houses the most campers at camp. 
follow me. We'll go check out demos. Why bring your own gear to camp when you can demo from the screw crew? On the side of the lodge is the camp store. In here you can get all the latest camp threads and exclusive product. If you're not feeling well, the nurse's office is across from the lodge. Nurse Greg, our camp nurse, he'll take care of you. Also, he's big on hand washing. Here's the office. It's an office. More paperwork, less camp. Pretty boring. Walk on down the street to the Burton Demo Center if you want to ride the latest from Vermont's finest. If you need toothpaste, pixie sticks, or Mount Hood postcards, Govy Jen has your back. If you scream for ice cream, then look no further than Volcano Cones. These girls have you covered. This is Cobra Dogs, the most famous hot dog stand in snowboarding. If you're feeling risky, hang out with the Ween team and get bit by the Cobra Sauce. This is Boardwalk, where the K unit feeds our campers a wide array of delicious foods. I've heard that Burrito Night's the most popular. Don't forget the Sriracha. Campers, grab a ball. You it? I got you, I got you, you're safe. This is not a good spot for this at okay. all. The Oakley Dodgeball Arena here at High Cascade is the only two-tier dodgeball arena in the world. So campers, grab a ball and get ready to rumble. Here's the street course. One of three places to skateboard at High Cascade. This is where it all goes down. Skate contest, talent shows, daily meetings, it all happens here. So buckle up that helmet and get after the Euro Gap. Welcome to the Bulls. Service a layer of skate light and designed for all ability levels. If you just don't need to drop in, we're transferring from bowl to bowl. These ramps have something for everyone. This mini ramp is known for being the perfect place to learn as many skate tricks as you can at camp. Grind, slide, flip, and revert your heart out, and skate before four, because this ramp is right behind the lodge. High Cascade has spring-free trampolines. These are the quietest, bounciest, and safest trampolines on earth. Whether you're trying to learn how to fly or some new snowboard maneuvers, these trampolines are the place for you. The boundary lines are here, here, and Rubes, point out the other one and here. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a counselor at High Cascade, Boardwalk 3. Come on in. This is the living room here at Boardwalk. We have two of them, one in the front, one in the back. Let me take you to the kitchen. I know everyone wants to see it. We're going through the fridge. Let's have a peek. We have Cholula hot sauce good on everything and a bag of cherries you just never know all right it's the living room aka the chill zone where campers just swap stories watch tv and overall just enjoy each other's company we have two bathrooms here on boardwalk rooms we have two toilets two showers two sinks follow me to one of the campers rooms so each camper room, there's three total on Boardwalk, has three bunk beds, three dressers, and after a long day of snowboarding and a long day of activities, they can rest nicely and prepare for tomorrow. Alright, you saw the fridge, saw the washer, saw the dryer, saw the bathrooms, saw the bedrooms, but now we have to go to 715 meeting, so it's time to get out. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the lodge. I'm going to give you a tour. Come on in. This is where all the fun at camp happens. In here we got the foosball room. We got guitars, sofas. This is a sweet hangout spot. Lots of kids come in here to relax, play some games, just chill. Uh, it's always a good time, always something fun going on in here. All the cool activities. Everybody ends up here at some point in the day. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, what's up guys? We got all the lodge campers hanging out. Totally normal scenario. This is kind of how we hang. <laughs> always a good time. Always something wild and weird going on like this. It's like a family, right? <laughs> it's like a family. We got TVs. We're always watching snowboard movies. We house about 60 campers at one time. All the bunks are in here. It's an excellent living scenario. You get really tight with all your friends, meet a bunch of new people. As you can see, there's plenty of bunk space, lots of good areas for sleeping, really comfortable. It's a really awesome place to hang out and just chill. This is like the best place to catch some Z's I can think of. Ah, yeah. All right, so down here, this is the bathroom. This is where the magic happens. 
This is uh, I don't know, what do you say about a bathroom? <laughs> Gotta have a spot that you can stay looking good at all times. Over here we got all the lockers where the campers keep their snowboard gear. Make sure there's always a safe place to lock up because this is the hub of camp. There's a lot of kids coming through at all times. All right guys, thanks for visiting the lodge. Now get out! Activity day happens on day five of camp. If campers are a little too tired to ride, but not too tired to have fun, they have some pretty sweet options. My name is Terrence Stone Rooney and I'm a camp director at High Cascade. Activity day is just a great opportunity for kids who usually aren't used to riding six days straight. It's kind of strenuous for a lot of people, um, myself included. Uh, you need a day to kind of relax, um, let your legs heal, uh, you know, get that energy back up for those last two days on hill. We have a ton of great things going on in Oregon and we really want to give all the campers a great opportunity to appreciate everything that we have out here. One of the most popular, longest running activities we do is the skate tour. Some of the other activities we have are uh, whitewater rafting, we have uh, OMSI, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, we've got roller skating in a movie, we've got thrift store in a movie, and uh, we go to Oaks Park, an uh, uh, amusement park down in Portland that's really fun and that's got roller skating and go-karts, mini golf, all that type of stuff. And uh, we got a bunch of other ones that we do kind of seasonally. Uh, if we can offer them in the session, we do, uh, but it changes up. We always try to keep it fresh. Activity day is usually day five of the session. So uh, you get three days on hill, one day of activity, and then two more days before you have to head back home at the end of the session. Now, High Cascade isn't just for kids, it's for adults too. I'd go a step further and say it's more like a fantasy camp for snowboarders. Adult camp is a place where adults can come and have an amazing time as a snowboarder. You start to feel like a kid after a few minutes of being at camp. Kids camp um, has, has a bit of a different structure and the kids have amazing activities but the adults have a little bit more freedom. They get to taste all the activities that the kids do. They have special activities that are catered just to adults. Every dinner is exclusive and we go to different places every night and have four star meals. You get a, a real structured taste of snowboarding and you get a lot of freedom on the hill. You get to learn things like waxing, dodgeball. Um, trampoline, skating, adult only skate is made. Never skateboarded? We'll teach you how to skate. Hands on. Learn all the basics. You'll, you'll feel like a skateboarder in a few minutes. It's amazing. You get to play things like kickball and, and it's not your average game of kickball. We get uh, adults that are beginners. We get intermediates, advanced. And I was really blown away with just the age difference between everybody and the oldest camper being probably in the early 50s, and then, and then their youngest, uh, probably around 22 or something like that. So that was what really shocked me, and was, I was really impressed by the fact that there was this huge range of people that were coming to camp. We have adult snowboarders who have been snowboarding their whole life. We have adult snowboarders who have just started. I was just so in the moment that it felt like this was perpetual. And so the fact that this is the last day uh, really is weird and it doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be leaving tomorrow but I think that speaks so much to, to just what's provided here and and that people can be so immersed and not have to worry about or think about anything back home or with their jobs or anything like that it's just once you're here you're here and I think that's special there's a photo workshop offered during session five this workshop is designed to give you actual hands-on instruction by some of the snowboarding's top photographers. This workshop uh, is very unique compared to other photo workshops because we're actually hands-on. We're on the snow. It's not just in the classroom teaching theory about shooting snowboarding. The demographics of this, this group, and we're seeing it from being slightly professional photographers to those aspiring to be professional photographers, um, and there's like just young kids that are finding this to be an additional session for their snowboard camp experience and then there's hobbyists. So it's really cool and we can accommodate any of those interests. They all want to learn how to document it and doing it really well. It's not just about coming out here and being a professional photographer, but someone that can make an image of, 
that's impressionable and, and inspire others that, that view the photo. We definitely discuss how to market yourself and how to build your own portfolio and really how to start interacting with clients uh, for those first couple years as a freelancer. Our workshop's really intensive and uh, we spend mornings in the classroom, evenings in the classroom, and then we're on hill all day. You are really getting right in the mix. We're showing you all the techniques that we all know. Where's good angles to stand, where's good angles not to stand, what kind of equipment you should use. Part of being at the workshop is learning how um, a photo shoot would really go down in the real world, like how it is to interact with like professional and sponsored riders. A night shoot at Mount Hood is kind of coveted in a way. It's like one of the coolest things you can do in all of snowboarding. It's been a big part of our photo workshop every year and a big draw to come out here to be able to go up after the mountains closed and shoot with some of the best snowboarders in the world in High Cascades Pipes and Park. On day four, everyone's got really awesome photos that are publishable in the eyes of a photo editor of a brand marketing manager. Their breadth of knowledge about the industry, the culture has been fantastic. Everyone has a really diverse background that lends itself to being great at teaching what they do. I've been to a photo workshop here four times, four years consecutively. It's crazy how much I grow every year still. I'm still learning new stuff every time I'm here. I know the guys who work for the New Zealand camp um, and they told me if you want to get into snowboard photography, this is where you need to be. Cascade has spent the past 25 years helping grow the sport of snowboarding, getting kids outside of the house, getting them physical, socializing, pushing themselves to new levels, learning new things about themselves, and most importantly, getting them to have fun. With High Cascade's mission as life improvement through snowboarding and skateboarding, campers will have a summer to remember. This is Sal Masakela, and when I come to Mount Hood, there's only one place that you can come to, and that is High Cascade Snowboard Camp.